Hello, I'm Richard, EV for You Custom Conversions. And in today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about this Jeep right here. Uh, this is a what I would call a demonstration project. Basically, it was uh, built to show you uh, the workings of a conversion. And so, uh, this is not our vehicle. This was done for a customer. And we're only part of the picture, so this isn't complete. It's not uh, finished and, and ready to roll. But I thought I'd give you a quick little overview before it leaves our shop. So we've got some photos that were taken along the way that we'll incorporate in this video. But I'm going to give you a little video overview also. So stay with us. So we'll start off with a quick uh, kind of walk around of the exterior here. Like I said, it's not completed, so you notice that there's uh, no hood latches, that kind of thing. Well, let's take a look underneath the hood. Well, as you know, this is electric, so there's no uh, engine under the hood. Matter of fact, there's not a whole lot of anything under the hood. What we do have under the hood is the 12-volt uh, auxiliary battery right here. And that comes up to uh, um, the 12 volt post right here. And the negative 12 volts is right here. Here's the uh, main disconnect for the high voltage system, the traction pack. This uh, hat features uh, 32 Cal 180 amp hour cells four of which are right here, underneath there. That cover just comes out. There's uh, 28 more underneath the center of the vehicle. Our high voltage pack has some uh, lines coming forward here for um, uh, different uh, accessories that would be run off pack voltage. Um, We've got one side here, and here's the other one. So this is the uh, positive side, and that's the negative, I believe. And then uh, the battery charger is right here. The DC to DC converter is right here. And uh, now we've got a inertia switch right there. And it's pretty much designed to where you undo a few things, like uh, one side of this terminal strip here, a couple things, and this basically allows you to lift the whole body off and, and, and separate the body from the chassis for you know, display and instructional purposes. So it's quite simple. We'll take a look at the rear. Um, because uh, the motor uh, and the controller and the shunt uh, are all in the back underneath. So we'll take a look at those also. 
Well, without any covers in place or anything like that, we can see the controller and the chill plate and a few things like that underneath there. But yeah, there's the, the cooling system, you know, the radiator and fans and the pump and reservoir, the controller and the motor are all underneath the back. And we'll show you some photos of that um, from the underside. It's rather hard for me to video it at this point, but we'll show you those photos. As you'll see in some other photos, uh, the Jeep was modified, the body was, um, prior to our receiving it, but uh, they cut the dash because it came down lower. The firewall only came this far, so it went up like that. So we added a piece to extend the firewall. Just put this in. It's somewhat temporary, I guess it can be changed if they want to change that down the road. So the steering wheel is a quick release to allow you to get in. Now, I'm not exceptionally tall and it's kind of tight clearance for me. So anyway, that's, that's the fit. So you got your brake and your throttle and uh, the key to turn it on. And so we'll kind of walk through these things real quick. All right, so let's get a little closer view here, kind of see things a little better if we can. But I'll kind of start right here on the right of the steering wheel. This is our ignition, our on off. So we turn that on. That activates our power relay, which then turns on all of our 12 volts. And you could hear that when the 12 volts comes on, it turns on our key switch relay for the uh, controller and so forth, and you could hear the contactor kick in. So the screen light's just a, you know, a reminder to let us know that the uh, ignition is on. Uh, GPS speedometer. Uh, this is the menu switch for the Curtis 840 display. This is our high beam JLD 404 12 volt fog lights. And on this side over here, on the opposite side of the steering wheel, we have the lights right here and uh, turn signals right here I can reach them from the steering wheel uh, high beam is right here that's the high beam indicating light JLD 404, we're at 105.7 volts. This is uh, 32 cells, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, the pack's down 11 and a half uh, amp hours. So it's a fairly good drain on it right now because the battery's a little a little low when everything's on, but mainly it's the DC to DC converter charging that battery right now. So this is a direct drive system, and it uh, is electronically switched for reverse, of course, and so that's contained right here. Flip that up, flip on a reverse little reminder light comes on and you can see from the tack there and I don't know if 
uh, from this camera angle. It may not show up, but there we go. We can spin the motor over because we don't have the axles in at this point. And uh, just like that, put it back into forward. So anyway, that's kind of a quick overview. Has a really loud horn in it. Emergency flashers. Mostly LED lights on this. So anyway, it uh, It allows uh, students to be able to take a look at uh, all of the workings, not only from the 12-volt uh, wiring of just a vehicle, which is all laid out so that they can trace and learn from that, but also the propulsion setup. And uh, this is uh, an AC conversion. This is the High Performance Electric Vehicle Systems uh, AC50 motor with the Curtis 1238 controller. So anyway, like I said, this is uh, getting ready to leave our storage area here and move on. So we just thought we'd with you real quick while we still had the opportunity to do that because it's heading down to the Bay Area to be someone else's project. Well, if you have any questions or comments regarding this uh, video, be sure to email us at info at ev4unow.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions. Like I said, this has been in the background in uh, several videos and uh, so I thought we better uh, answer some of those questions about what's the deal with the stainless steel Jeep and uh, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.